A Suncoast tiger being transported from the Tampa Fairgrounds to a sanctuary in Tennessee somehow got loose, causing quite a scene in Atlanta where police had to shoot that animal that once performed as part of Feld Entertainment. And with Irma on the way now to Florida, the issue has sparked some concern about securing similar animals of that type. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates shows us what's being done here on the Sun Coast. Here at Big Cat Habitat, efforts are underway to secure the facility for all the animals that call this area home. But those efforts go beyond just finding a place for the camel and the buffalo behind me to wait out the storm, to include a bear and also a liger, which is about a thousand pounds. Most of them are trained, believe it or not, even with a little bit of whipped cream. We can just ring a bell, show them some whipped cream, and they come running in right away. Big Cat Habitat trainer Clayton Rosaire says they've been pulling all the tricks from their hats to ensure the about 140 animals currently at the sanctuary are safe during the storm. When you visit the facility's website, you see this message, closed in preparation for Hurricane Irma. The sanctuary shut its doors earlier this week to begin the process of protecting the animals, doing everything from removing temporary structures like tents and signs to strengthening and repairing permanent structures. But the recent escape of an unrelated tiger in Atlanta, Georgia, has put a lot of focus on Big Cat's main attraction, the lions, tigers, and ligers, leaving some wondering what will happen during the storm. But Rosaire says they are all safe and secure. All of our enclosures are required to have a, a lockdown facility for uh, instances like this where they have a, a safe little lockdown that's all enclosed for them to get out of the weather and be safe in. In case we were to have any issues where one of their outside compounds was to uh, take a hit or get damaged in any way, they're all locked in for that time when we're going to have the storm. Big Cat Habitat officials say essential employees will remain on site to protect the animals. Just in case something goes wrong, they'll be here to help. Bo Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.